Okay, so we just did a video about how to estimate a square root when it's not a perfect square. And then we also in that video kind of estimated what the decimal would be if we had to. Now, it's the same idea here in these section of problems, but now we're going to make a guesstimate and put it on a number line. So for numbers 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, we're going to try to put the dots as close to as we can on the number line. And then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we need to identify which dot goes to which square root. So let's look at number 6 real quick. Again, we're going to kind of rapid fire here because we did this in another video. So 26 isn't a perfect square, but I know the square root of 25 is really close and it's below it. So it's going to be between 5 and the next closest one is the square root of 36, which is 6. So I know my, the square root of 26 is going to be between 5 and 6. So that means it's going to be somewhere between 5 and 6. So somewhere in here. Let's try that again. It's going to be somewhere between here. Now, the square root of 26 is closer to 25. So that means the decimal is going to be closer to 5 than it is to 6. So if I had to put a dot, I'd put it really, really close to 5.0. So it's right there. So there's point V. Because the, dec I mean, the square root of 26 is really close to the square root of 25. And so that means it's closer to 5 than it is to 6. All right, point W, let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, so 88 is not a perfect square, but the closest one below it is 81, which makes 9. And the closest one above it is the square root of 100, which is 10. So it's between 9 and 10, and 81 is closer to 88. So, but not by much. It's a difference of 7 for there and the difference of 12 for the 100. So... It's going to be between 9 and 10. I know that. So let's go to 9 and 9.5. So it's going to be between 9 and 10. But, if I continue the number line, there's 10. But it's going to be closer to 9 than it is to 10. So I'm going to put the dot somewhere like right there. Because it's not really halfway, but it is definitely close to the halfway. Okay, and this is point W. All right, let's do the next one. So 77 is not a perfect square. The closest perfect square this direction, the smallest is 64, which equals 8. And the next biggest one to 77 on bigger is 81. The square root of 81 equals 9. So I know it's between 8 and 9. Okay, so it's between 8 and 9. And 77 is actually closer to 81 this time. So it's closer to 81. And so that means my answer, or my dot, is going to go closer to 9 than it is to 8. So if I had to, I'd put a dot somewhere like right there. And there's x. All right, point y. Okay, so the square root of 37 is not a perfect square. But I know the one smaller to it is 36, which equals 6. The one that's closest and is bigger than that is 49, which equals 7. So I know the square root of 37 is between 6 and 7, okay, so it's between 6 and 7, and it's closer to 36 than it is to 49, so this is closer to 36, so that means that my dot, when I draw it, is going to be closer to 6, so I'm going to put it right about there, there's point Y, alright, and then let's do Z, alright, so Z, or the square root of 30, is not a perfect square, well, the one that's smaller or closest to it is 25, which equals 5. And the perfect square above 30 that's close is 36, which is equal to 6. Okay, and this one's the toughest one because uh, which, which one is it closest to? Is the square root of 30 closest to 25 or 36? It's barely, barely closer to 25 because the difference between 25 and 30 is 5. The difference between 36 and 30 is 6. So... Not by much, so it's going to be closer to 5 just by a little bit, so it's between 5 and 6, and it's going to be closer to 5 just by a little, so it's almost halfway between, so I'm going to put it like right there. I'm going to put it right there, and there's point Z. All right, so that's how we do that section of problems, and then in the next video, I'm going to do 11 through 15, and I'll show you how to figure out which dot belongs to which square root.